the one them were not nerd where used to feel left out and now the revenge of the nerds are going when them come in at the space and be like, now I get to take over. You can't do this anymore because I wasn't included. <laughs> Boy. Matlock, I wouldn't say that. Cause space is nurturous. So when I came into dance hall, for for those of you who not reading what Matlock is saying. These new artists are not creative, so they can't DJ slackness in parables. All right, so here's what, what happened. When I came into the dance hall space as a young person, first of all, I came from a different background. So I come from a background of literature. I am grew up and listened to Sparrow and Kitchener. That was my mother's selections. So I kind of get, and then I had bear some to that, and you know, I have the storytelling. I grew up on Miguel Street in a literature class with all the, again, storytelling. These kids don't have any of that. The books are no longer in the literature curriculum. The music is no longer in their ears. And the grandmother and the mother who older and listen to those things don't exist. So where are they going to get the storytelling skills from? Yeah, you have got them some slack. Who sharpened them with? They never allowed to come around we. I was allowed to hang around older artists when they come see in the business. Them kids are not allowed to come around with. So, you have to cut them some slack. You can't say them just not good. You have to say them not nurtured. And if them not nurtured, that's our fault. We never nurtured them. It's so our fault. Yeah. And then we censor. And when you censor, what does the youth do? The youth rebels. The youth always rebel. You remember say. Remember, that's how what give right to people like Castro, you know? Rebellion. A from out of college, him rebel. Lead the revolution. Hmm? It was always the college students, the young people, the teenagers who rebel and change things. Them are the paradigm changers. Right? So, if we clip them wing, censor them, shut them up, we don't nurture them, we don't teach them nothing, we don't show them where they come from and give them, we don't allow them critical thinking skills. Every time them color outside of the box, we put them back in the line. Remember, you know, we, we are the one we tell them, say, you know, color good. We put them back in the line. And so they ended up becoming almost paralyzed because of what we did to them. And they do them best. They still manage to do slackness, even though, even though we come down so hard for them for it and act like we never did slackness. We did slackness. We sh what we should have done was just like my mother exposed me to kitchen and sparrow and all of that. We should have exposed them to what we did. We kept pretending that we were perfect and we were never perfect. In fact, our imperfection was the most perfect thing about us. But then we pretend to the kids like, Oh my God, we, we walk the street and narrow. No, girl. You did a broke out to grindsman Ben's Punani. And you make a picnic feel like Punani is such a bad word. You was flinging up the Punani. You did a take free run at the school back. And in the bus back. You did cut out all in your pocket for go up on bus. You did a sit down in a lap. In the bus back. And then your kids come up and you act like you've never, oh my God, <sighs> clutching your pearls for every fucking thing. Stamina, daddy. Stand your talk, no man. Chum, man. Remember, put on the two seat. Put on the two seat, the two seat, the two seat. Put on the two That's why I go to high school now. Every woman have a right. Fede and Bossy. Got them have something where every man want it. You know, remember that song there? Come on, man. Can we just... Can we stop? We didn't allow our kids to listen to that. So they had to hide from us and go be innovative and create their own. But we also didn't teach them with... So, all right, our parents didn't want us listening to slackness. But we still got some amount of witty stuff. Stone upon my body yet. Hey, Matlock, what the them? Power stone. So we, our parents, 
didn't want us exposed to slackness, but they exposed us to things which sharpened our wits because we were taught literature. And there was a stronger language base. So whatever language is spoken in your country, that language, your, your, your language subject would have been mandatory and would have been reinforced at home too. We had books in the households. We read. We had library. Remember, you know, so the library gone extinct now, you know. The library is now on your phone in the form of Google and Wikipedia makes sure that that is so muddled that you don't even know what is fact from fiction. We don't use complete sentences or words anymore. We're shortening, we have abbreviated every fucking thing. Because even one syllable words are too much for us to spell or say, so we have now cut them down to one letter. And then we complain to the kids, them now have no wits. Where them forget it from? The fuck them all get it from? When you did a look, them mother, you never use full sentences. When them mother did a respond to you and agree to the booty call for come run some crutches for you, you never, she never used full sentences either. And then the kids come up around, you know, with a you know, broken English, broken homes, broken every fucking thing, and then you complain, said, them, I have no wits. Where them forget it from? Where them forget it from? Talk the guy. Come make me be honest, man. Now, remember, me and I have a real relation. Me and food, me and a relationship is like one of honesty. We don't lie to each other. We never did and we never going to start now. So, where the kids them forget this wits, the wittiness in the lyrics, where should they get it? They not read no book. You buy your kids no book? You buy them no book? You buy them tablets? Laptop, computers, video games. And what they do on those things? You ever see them read a book? And they don't know if you don't ever get buy on a picnic one Kindle. When you buy a book, not even audio book when you not buy. No, uh, and they don't subscribe to Audible. When you buy on a picnic one book. You think you think the sharp wits are sitting with just sharp, so? You, when you buy your wits, they're not sharp. When you buy nothing, you're not sharp. Everything by you have to sharpen. And you never sharpen them wits once in a day life, but you're complaining that them wits not sharp. Where did you get it from? Where did you get it from? So the people come out and them do them best and me give them kudos because despite the fact that nobody not teach them to read and write, nobody not teach them to actually read besides being able to read and write. No. Literacy are one different sitting from reading. The fact that, well, Matt Lucky are one of one. The fact that you can read and the fact that you do read are two different facts. Being able to read and actually reading are two different things. So you, you, you insist that your people need to be literate. But most of your kids, them just functionally literate. Some of them merely literate and some of them barely literate. Because you don't encourage nothing more in them. And then you have the gall for confuse the poor kids by complaining that they can't do nothing more and just simply read. What do I learn for write? You ever give them a book and pen and make it a part of your regular activity outside of schoolwork? Hmm? You and them ever write nothing together? Physical books are the best link. I love physical books. I love physical books. But you see, especially man, kids model, men model behavior for kids more than women do, you know. Most people look up to them father. The reason why most kids don't look up to them father because they don't have none present. But people love their daddy and love look up to their daddy. You may tell them most of daddy them will have a book from a barn and read at all. <laughs> them, People that say if you write it, them name for a bulla give them them eat it. But honestly, no, they wouldn't eat it because they wouldn't realize if them bulla, they not even read their name. They might walk past it and never see their name. They panda bulla they cause they not read nothing. Them say if you want to hide sitting in front of a black man, put it in a writing, in a book. I mean, I think that fear. I think I'm a black man. I think I'm a man. Because women are more into reading than men and we are losing that. It's nowadays it's like if you sit down and I read you, you something wrong with you, you have a disease or something. 
and people act like communicable, so you know, you don't want to fuck with you because it's not a read. This is why people like politicians and so can trick on a regular because you don't read. This is why you can you can warp on the internet over things where can easily be proven or disproven because you don't go, you don't go read. So, I look on things like case files and then come out and listen to what they say. So, I don't talk about Cosby. I don't talk about Cosby and talk about the sound by them for the news and me actually go read the case. I don't talk about Kobe and I don't get emotional. Oh my God, this is And me actually go read the case. Don't, everything I don't talk about, I actually go read the case. So, I don't read the case. And these reports are available for the public to look at. But, you know, not read them, you know, just come out emotional, you know, and then you get st- you remain in that emotional state with your kids, and then you look at your kids and them peers, and you say, Alan, do I have sex? Like, you know, not teach them nothing else. I have no lo- less than 10 book book concepts in my head for the past 10 years and can't find the time to work on them. You have the time to work on them, you had the time to give me a bun. I'm pretty sure you can squeeze in working on a book. <laughs> yeah, that gonna come up for the end till the end of time. If people were just joking here, that's my friend. He did not give me one. But in a real life, you can find time. You make time for things that you want to do. That is true. And reading. Usually video games, social media, I restrict my time on socials to keep my head. Uh, too much distractions available. It's a lot of distractions, but honestly, there have always been distractions. And we have always been the ones to decide what we wanted to allow to distract us. So, if you really want to read, you will read. You will read. What made me stop reading so much was the fact that I can't, I can't make out the words as well. I needed, I needed reading glasses and I, I didn't want to accept the idea that I needed reading glasses. So, left him time, I wanted from 1989 when me just born. The fuck? You want me when me just left high school and you just born? Get away from me, you creep. <laughs> Get away from me, you creep. No, it's serious. Um, <sighs> me, not, me, me feel like dance hall could have stand a, a little. I love a cup of tea and a book. Yeah, a good book and a bang. Well, a good book and a spliff. I feel like dance hall could have used a little rejuvenation. And maybe some of my friends are going to vex with me if I say that. But don't vex. Just think about what I say. Before you make your emotion respond, just think about what I say first. Because, hear me, some of the things that I said in a dance hall, I said I've been a dance hall already and I look at things I have on glasses and I can hear lyrics in a song with my ball. But trigger me so bad that my tears run out of my eye in a club space. I hear that already. Like songs where I have strong rape themes in them. And even so, I still wouldn't want to Censor dance hall because where do you stop though? The moment you start to censor, where do you stop? When you get past my trigger, is it that I'm so important that we only censor out my triggers? Or are we going to censor out everybody's triggers? Because if you have censor out my triggers, then you have to censor out everybody's. And that kind of leaves nothing behind because everything is a trigger for somebody. So, I feel like we're going to have to start suck it up. Just suck it up. If you feel like too much things in a dance hall were too painful for you, just not go in there. I don't think you have to say that space enough to exist. Because this is what has happened, you know. People have said that space shouldn't exist because I can't go there. Because this new thing is not the old space. It's a different thing. So the, the, the original space was killed. To entertain Who? Because the actual audience preferred the old space. So we created a new sterilized space for 
new people? Why they never just make their own thing? Them should have make them own thing. It's kind of like when I see women breaking into in places. I'm not one of those women. I don't want to fight to get into men's spaces. If the man them want to buy themselves. If the man them want to buy themselves and they don't want me to uh, survive. You want in my absence. What kind of. What kind of deficit may I operate? What kind of emotional deficit may I operate out of so that me so needy and desperate that me need you for always need me around or have me around? Why me can't why me can't just go enjoy the absence of you? In a you in the ta in, in the space where you're enjoying the absence of me, I also get to enjoy the absence of you. So the two we have the opportunity. To enjoy each other's absence. And absence does make the heart grow fonder. Like. Being away from somebody where you truly love. And missing them desperately. When you see them back. It's like you want to rip them to shreds. Like. That. Works. All the time. So. Even if people you love. They need to dance and space. Let them go. Let them set them free. And make them go and go. Oh man, and the internet is shite. I love you too, friends. Okay, Francie. Francie Doherty. I can't pronounce Francie X. Yeah, well, my thing say. Mega easy if you fall asleep if me actually come off of this. And jump in the shower. Let me tell you something else too. After me done wait for half an hour, the water just get to room temperature. But I'm going to you know, it's not, look, me not nasty. I'm going to go bed, but I'm going to cry while me I do it. Because cold water really is my style. I'm going to to you. How to find the double link. You me, me don't know why you have a problem of find my contacts for in a me, in a me bio on the same IG where you're there. Like, when you look on people page, it is a, it, it, it is a mystery to me that people say me so hard for getting in touch with when me put up contacts. Then just know, it, it's like people who say, me hard for getting to touch with, but what they mean is they want to talk to me personally. But me have an office. Me have an entire office. Which is very functional. Efficient. Use it, no? <laughs> because you're not going to walk up in a bakery and buy bread from the baker. You buy bread from the cashier. You never look before. Top the label, look again. In line, Ross. For you come here, I'll be like, I'll tell you, Matlock for you come here be it. first you try to challenge my friend in a ma that's like you walk up in my living room and try to war my family. You know say in my living room I wear a wool or a machine them there. You walk up in our place <laughs> and you threaten war. I had an idea and reach out to business contact. Not sure if you're available to chat one of these days. Link me. What's up with me? Let me tell you the honest truth. Some of the times, I put down the phone and I just don't take it up. Sometimes, small and book a big up. Some of the time, I put on the phone and just decide for fuck off with gadget. But, I me me try to remember to message you when I come off. Because sometimes, I go for message people and I say, Blood clot. Them did send me a message and I feel like shit. But I saw my head work. You did look, man. I swear. <laughs> oh, God. No, listen. I miss all time dance. I miss it. I miss when I go a clash. And the people them did a clash for real. And, I, and, and it wasn't war. It was clash. All right. Echo and so on. Big up. It was clash. And then it was 
no holds barred you know me think say sometimes the man me go overboard but me would rather risk some man go overboard than censor everybody because that just fucking boring me not gonna lie to you boring it boring I've already I've been booked on a show before way I booked on a show for come perform for a liquor company and then when me I go up on the stage when me I go up on the stage my luck you see you smart way talk as much as you are better you did first both them are dead too when me I go up on the stage the stage manager come to me and tell me say me can curse and me can this and me can do that and me can and I'm like, what? Me see you sure? So who for song me I go sing? Because for me song me have some cursing on them. No, I'm just saying, you have to tone it down. I'm like, tone down what? If you did want, why you never book Grace Chillers? If you did want gospel, why you never book a gospel artist? Why you book me? Even if me tone down uh, for the expletive, me, Cannot tone down off of the context. So why you book me? And then Pantapa says a liquor company. Liquor. They sell alcohol. This is poison, you know. This is people who sell poison. Something where you guaranteed so if you keep drinking the shit that has shot in your life span. And it also will lower the quality of life while it's still alive. Like what the fuck? You know I'm positioned for tell me for no curse. When me drink and junk, you know what me do? You know the kind of behavior me have under the influence. I was told about this, so I make you cuss. I would have like to know if this is true. Do you know have a problem with me cursing? He said, this is a signal, yeah. He go, he come, he go, he come. But picture say, one liquor company, I tell you, say, you can cuss for freedom event. Liquor, you know? When you, but then when you see the taglines like drink responsibly, you know, so them delusional. <laughs> because there's, the moment you lift up one, any amount of alcohol and put in your mouth, you're no longer responsible at all. You're not being responsible. I'm, I mean, I try this, nobody, but just, I could stop, I could stop being like a hypocrite now. I drink, you know. I drink. But me honest, about me drinking. Me know. Fair fuck. So this one me I do is not in my best interest. We drink because sometimes you just need like a buffer because life comes at you fast. <laughs> sometimes you're around a vibe, so you just want to maintain the vibe. When you're a party, you ever try party and a drink? One of the most boring blood clot things. Eh? What else you going to do out there? Sit down and watch everybody else drink and you the designated. Me and I designated driver. If you don't have nobody else to drive, no, come out with me. Because I can't carry you home. Me live no me live. <laughs> I want to be some of the rum show. I make you uncle's bad word. My God, so come on. Blood clot, idiot. Delusional people. And it is hypocritical for you to sit there on your pedestal and tell me that, oh my God, the cursing is beneath you when you make a living of people fucking up the liver and kidney on a daily basis because if liquor if the liquor industry is what you make a living from that is what feeds you other people's slow and sometimes fast demise that's what feeds you right we don't have to discuss it if you don't discuss it me not say nothing either not come comfortable with it everybody have the right to pick them poison but you don't have the right to supply the poison and then sit down over so be judgmental of the fucking death then you tell me, say, you don't drink and you don't understand it, then sit this one out. It's not for you, Jenny Flora. You don't have to understand. Hey, you don't have to understand everything about earth, you know? Let me tell you, drinking is of an extremely minute fraction of all the things that you don't know, understand. That is, it's not even a drop in the bucket. You not understanding drinking Go in the bucket and the bucket don't know that it exists. You don't affect the bucket. It's not even a sweat drop. So it don't matter that you don't understand drinking. 
And you and we need to stop needing to understand other people's behavior to have respect for it. So see you now, I don't have to understand everything I want to do, you know. Sometimes people come at me and them cuss and say, Oh me, me support fuckery. I don't support fuckery. What I do is mind my business. What I don't understand, I leave it the fuck alone. I don't feel the need to understand every single thing. It's not my business. If it doesn't look like it's encroaching on somebody else, man, me tell you no pedophile. I don't need to understand pedophile and me, and me not going to respect them and leave them alone. Pedophile for dead. Rapist, me don't need to understand nothing. You know what I say? But you see, from your own, so enjoy yourself and you not fuck around nobody else. You not encroach on nobody's face. You not hurt nobody. And you not take advantage of no underprivileged or inebriated or um otherwise impaired person can do your thing two consenting adults have my blessing all day every day me not understand when you go to the bar only person need to understand you is the bartender <laughs> i know me that's not my job i know my job to understand you i know your job to understand me we not have no responsibility don't be short Don't be short. Topic alcohol. I'm not short. What do you mean? Me about five foot three. That's not short. Me feel like. All right. So hero me say. Hero me say. It's when me go somewhere with somebody and then make a point of telling me then don't drink. Me get annoyed. Because where I tell me for. Me don't even know that. The only the, the only person you need to talk to. About drinking is a bartender. And you know, if you tell a bartender, say you don't drink alcohol. If you drink water, just order that. He must serve you what you want. He no one know you don't want to know. He only want to know what you want. He supply what you do want. He no supply what you don't. So for you say water, you say cranberry, or you say whatever the fuck you say, that's what he must go supply. And you never, ever, ever have to say, I don't drink. It's not relevant. Nobody not care. I tell you the truth. Nobody not care. I mean, I not trying to be disrespectful, you know. No. But just I tell you, nobody no care. So you, uh, you can feel free to keep that. Ooh, it looks like we're catch a sunrise. Sunrise and sin cry. No, and, and here. The reason why people don't care is not because they don't care about you. People reach a bar for, for different reasons, but all of them have to do with therapy. Every single one. The bartender is a therapist. Whether you acknowledge it or not. Yeah. And the fact that you don't need that therapy does not give you a license to... It doesn't give you any kind of license. And it definitely give you the license to be condescending to the people who actually need that kind of therapist. Or subscribe to that kind of therapy. You know what? You know, that's it. That's how simple life is. What you know what to do? And then you not feel no argument with nobody. Them want it. And you not feel understand. You not feel understand. None. Hey, majority of things I'm out there so I'm a broke fight for me not understanding. Me not understanding. Me not drink cherry brandy, you know, but it's so nice in a song. Cherry brandy tastes like cough syrup for me. I drink them something. I'm hip hop. People them drink them scissor or something. Yeah? You have tried time to time. Why why you try? If you're not drinking, you're not drink, you don't have to drink. Not drinking don't make you any less than the rest of us who drink. In fact, everybody has struggled with them own shit. Give me ice with my drink, please. I'm not hardcore. You know, take your ice, Galang. It's 3 a.m. in Las Vegas. My bedtime gone, but Third, me not get 30 seconds of nothing. You come in the wrong place. If you did a music you didn't want, you'd have gone on Spotify. You could have never come over Instagram and ask for music. Instagram is not a music platform. And, and you know, people try to come and so come, come, come guilt me all the time. And it not work, you know. You, you know, understand. Me not get them feelings. Because eh? me personally, know, and people ask me, yes, so, when you come in with new music, me know they're not interested in the music because if they were, they would have gone on the music. Platform. 
You wouldn't come on my Instagram. Come ask me. Who go to bake a yard? Go knock on the door and ask him. When you go to bake bread? You not go to bakery. You go to the supermarket, right? Or you go to bakery. You go to the corner shop. You go with my bread sell. You know, go over to bakery. Bake a yard. And go say, Hello. Morning, you wake. When you go to bake bread? Like, what the fuck? You know, bake bread over here, so. Nobody said please and things say you're not, you're not. You know me hard like rock. Then if you know me hard like rock, where you beat your head by me fire? Concussion, yeah, look. Me, I ask you if you go send up my spins. Yeah, try to not my truth. Leave that for me, man. <laughs> oh, God. Soft up tonight. Soft nup, no, I would strange man this. I can tell me about soft nup. <laughs> me know you, sir. What may I have not for you, for? I may not have not for you, sir. General Ling, you know, you know, honestly, Ling, talk the truth. <laughs> you ever see not like this? People always are try to guilt me. Always are try to guilt me. And I tell me, oh, you're not sing nothing, you're not sing for your fans. If you had my fan, you'd have to always watch me, send up my spins. Them. Me not see you, you're not, you're not counting on my YouTube, you're not counting on my Spotify, you're not counting on my Tidal, you're not going to come over here so and try to make me feel bad. You can't make me feel bad. You can't make me, you're not show up now which part of me nothing to me. You're show up on my Instagram. You think Instagram counting on my spins? And I tell me if you sing your saliva, what do you, you do to me? Eh? What you trying to do to me, man? But just come from show you want me to sing again yes, tonight. You try to not me truth. You know, act, you're not even slightly like me. You don't tell me if you shut my mouth and tap chat and go rest my voice. You don't know, tell me about sing 30 seconds. I move your ass and go with me. 30 seconds of my truth, I reserve that for when I go home. <laughs> you know, get it. You can't make me feel no way, babe. I don't feel bad. Big up the alcohol company, I say, I don't feel bad, but give me enough rum for me to tell you about your ass. <laughs> Boy, a week. I love you, you know. And it's funny. You love me? You're brave. <laughs> you brave, Christopher Smith. Uh -uh. And you see the light out, that means uh, pretty soon you can find somebody to give me two fry egg. Because fry egg. I joke, may I make you a true fan? So, I make this something true fan. We are doing this, I ask me for sing. I am a true fan, God, I'm sure. Let me tell you, when I notice about people, all right, you see one of them say, Oh, I am a true fan. And see me on the road and ask me to take pictures and catch feelings. And I find them there, because they don't come on the show. Because when they come, if they come on the show, they don't know, say, I turn up and take pictures. Everybody will want a picture. So you would need to ask me for a picture in a address. So that means when I play a show nearby where you're there, you never come. And then you catch a feeling because when I'm there for my own time, in my own space, I don't want to do the work things. Hmm? And then they say, I'm a fan. You're not. You're not. Are you not going to guilt me? You save lunch money for my... Matlock, how old are you? How old are you, Matlock? To save your lunch money for buy my record. They never make record again. How old are you? Christopher Smith, you say you're really brave. <laughs> I I respect your bravery. I respect your bravado. <laughs> God of mercy. Hey, I appreciate enough for accommodate me and fuck it. I go just go and chat for her until the kitchen opens so I can go get two fried eggs. Because you know what good for alcohol? I'll. I don't know how it works. 35 years old, my man, like your body about save lunch money. You save lunch money like 20 years ago? 18 years ago? You save up lunch money? And you come and so try to guilt me tonight over it 20 years ago, lunch money where you're done. You've been playing sound from World Cup 98. Well, that's nice. I've been singing on song since 89. Mm. Long time you love me. I love it too. 
And I can say that honestly because I do. Hey, Alan, good morning. You heard about the raw egg trick after alcohol? I don't have raw egg. May have fried egg at the aisle to do it for me. I don't do raw egg no more. When I was young, I used to do raw egg. Do you know, like when the fall them lay under the cellar, me is a big crack the egg and bore it all right up and just suck it right out of the shell. Warm, fresh out of the fall. Me used to do that. Like when me the young, me did more adventures, you know. Like right now, if me do that, me know me have vomit. I think the man them spoiled that for me. The raw egg something. <laughs> You can't wait for this mean person. I'll good for alcohol. Boy, I mean, I know you, but I'll feel like a good for alcohol. Because, me, um, I don't know, me always feel better after me just eat the sloppiest food. Yeah. Hey, Italy, Romano, big up. Yeah, the sloppiest food always work well after the most rum. Like, if I was drunk, 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 drunk now, oh, God, I would go in upon some fried stuff. Fried. South Africa, Lulu, oh, big up, Zambia. Southern Africa, not South Africa, Southern Africa, Zambia, big up. Difference. Yeah, for the love of swag. Good morning. I just lie down here, so uh, I unwind from um, the show at Legends Club in a St. Cry, big up pressure. So the artist pressure who sing, Let me give you some love and a... You know that song, eh? His and his friends club, Legends, in a St. Cry. And it was so good. It really was fun. Him have a, a really nice space physically, but him also lucky because him have a great um, crowd that comes there. His audience is lovely. Lovely. And he's sweet and he's nice. And he's trying best to do everything on point. I'm mean, big him up so much. I mean, it's a big work in Tekan because. That is no small task. Other chica and white and white god by Sizzler and new phone by Frankie Paul, the first set of 45 ever. Yeah, hey, young man. Do I know Pato Bantan? We haven't met in person, but we would speak on social media before. So I, I, I haven't met Pato. In person. Did, did I? I think I might have one time in Florida. I think he and his wife, we were in the same space away. Um, some Boynton Beach or some, one of them beach, beach place in Florida. New Gun by Frankie Paul. Some at like Entertainment. We had to me all of them the song ever. In a real life. That they got you. We had to me. <laughs> We have them. So my song that we have called me even know them. You know. think that you may artist me know every song? You feel like me have music library? I appreciate say I love music and say I collect music long time. But when me come from the live, you know. After me I come from the club with so me tell you hear me tell us I'm gonna shot me shot um What me shot again? See that me never fucking remember what me shot whiskey. <laughs> if me shot whiskey, I made mean a drink wine. You really want to sit down and reel out your, your music catalog, tell me. You may sound like me in a condition to have that conversation with you. Me? Or is me so like somebody where I go really tomorrow you go. You know the fuck up thing is? You go talk to one next time and say, remember me that talk to you and me tell us I have um, and when me say me no remember you feel hurt. Why do? Me so like me create a short term memory out of that conversation. Yeah. <laughs> eh? You think alcohol have no memory? I go pull up uh, yeah, yeah, next time I come jam Pull up there and watch how I take it on target practice. I <laughs> never have fun a lyric for me and my God. Do you have it? A lyric for me and my God? I mean, sing it to eh, me, but if I have it. I know you don't think I have any lyrics in here, so. 
<laughs> I love how I'm not going to sleep. Me. Listen, let me tell you, when I come from the club, you know, I come from pressure of a club. I love how you have to come over pressure club. Pressure of a club, me legends of a St. Fry. And I go there and then nice. The people are so nice. It was a fun show. And I did a drink wine. And then when I'm done, one young lady come and ask me if I take Jack Daniels shot. So I take Jack Daniels shot. And when me done, let me tell you, when I left French show, I the hardest thing for me to go sleep. But I just can't sleep. Is that me? I them just set so. And then I remember all of the fuckery when I never talked through the day. All of the fuckery when I never talked yesterday and the day before. <laughs> and then I come back alive and then somebody come and I try to talk sensible something to me. And my mischief come out because I don't really want to be sensible. <laughs> you know, let me tell you, I think one of the worst things happened to some, one of the worst things that could have possibly happened to some people who listen to my music is that you know, shoot me when you see me and show and shoot up. Yeah. It were, one of the worst things that could have happened to some people who were, were listening to the music and think that they know me good is for see me on per, social media because they used to create their own personality for me, you know. And some people used to peg me as Rasta. Because I sing what a D and a couple of other songs. Like Some people used to pick me as other things because I sing sitting else. I'm like, why you gotta make up a personality for people? You can't just make them be themselves. So then when me come on social media, I know I'm Mr. Talks. So you know how much people tell me how disappointed them being on me? Why do? Then disappointed them because I say, because I talk about sexual things. But I sang them up sexy night. Then disappointed them because I'm a cuss But I'm a cuss bad in my song. Then I go like, they know me from school, like me and my schoolmate. Like, where well, you know me from? You know me from my music, and my music of all of that. So how is it you separate me from that? And then get mad and get disappointed when you meet me in a real life, I'm, and I am exactly who I said I was. Me not change. Me not, me not lie. Me not pretend. Me are the exact same old nigga. Not a penniless. <laughs> and then you get mad. And then them say, boy, I can't believe you love for Chris. Like, I mean, I understand. From the day when I fuck with me, I do. From the first time when I sing, man, I love all your body tan, pretty on me, man. I draw my attention. Remember, I, remember a teenager, maybe when I sing that, you know. I was a teenager. When I sang that. When I did that talk, all of the things, them. And take people, man, and them something. I only did like it. And then all of a sudden, I don't go like, I don't go like, what? Wow. I don't understand. What, what changed? People of the art without accepting everything and the fullness of the artist. It's weird this. But they don't even have to accept. They can just walk on by. But they feel for engage. That's the strangest thing to me. So they want to engage. And then perfect strangers will walk up to me and say, and give me instructions on how to behave, how to appear, or how to present, you know. Like, how you do that though? You don't know me. Perfect strangers. It's like, it's the weirdest. It's weird. Guys, stop being weird. Stop being weird. Don't be weird. It, it, it's, it's weird. <laughs> Don't be weird. And then act like I'm me weird. Me not weird enough. Your reflection in the mirror make it look like you have company. It's your reflection in the mirror. Oh. Hey, look, some of this fine sitting else with this drop myself with it. <laughs> but I have no change or change. You never hear me all say it in a song. But I have no change for change. I know nothing strange. For, oh my God, again, for, lock up a guy and then go for the range. And look, that sweat off the image is in me. Buzz every scene for me, that cause khaki. Bump a squat up on the big Kawasaki. Ride it today and tomorrow me party. Look, that. Other than the way I'm talking. <laughs> Jaja God. Shana bling home here have video. And for what? After you know. After you know me baby mother and me who you know child support. What me have video for? What was you thinking while you sing here and breed? Cause anybody who asks me what me I think when me sing on a me song them just really and truly I go. Because me think me explain myself in a song them. Come on man. Do better than that. Ireland, big up Jamie Walsh from Ireland. When you see me lie down, yes, I saw Bebel. 
One good thing could have make this even nicer now I want fat spliff. I'm going to take two draw fight and pretend to me I smoke your fat spliff. And then two draw is enough. You know, so one spliff last me all a week. <laughs> Except now, sometimes though, when I have a vibe, me burn all a one, two spliff. In a one sitting. Me explain myself. Me ex chinchilla. Say it again. Never tell her that. Then can't say me chat too much, but then can't say my blood clot lie. Never that. Then can't say me chat too much. Mark you. Then can. Because, yeah, me can chat. But then can't say a lie. Me not tell a lie. You know why? You know, if you tell a lie, you have to have somebody where I like to wear rate that much. Me not really rate nobody that much, you know. I'm going to say why so much of myself and me can't lie to myself. So what the point? What the point? So if, what am I going to lie about? What am I going to lie say? What inspire me? Now you see anything what I tell about, man? A story I tell you, no, so a story what I tell you, I tell about. I tell about. No, man, straightforward, I'm going to go if you go, man. Alright, so let me tell you now. I know because my moral me, me not tell you, you know. I because I can't me not give a fuck, I can't bother. It means you know, when I see you again, I have to go remember the last line, I tell you if you go build upon that. Like, I don't care that much about you and your feelings. Ease your your feelings right now, and I don't have to deal with this again. Then, for the rest of my life now, I have to keep on a build a plaque. It's like I build up a layer upon layer upon layer of plaque of lie to make you feel better. And me not feel good enough. Because they like them now make me feel good at all. So, so why may I sacrifice myself for you and me not care? Easiest thing to me, I have to tell you it's straight. You might not like me in a short run, but you need to respect me in a long run. Because I don't lie to you. You have to know where you stand with me. Lazy? Yeah, man, I don't care. I don't care them the kind of load there, brother. I have enough baggage I care for my life. You go care for your baggage, Pantapai. You, you need to care your own baggage. So whatever it is will make you feel away about how me talk or feel or act or look. You need to go work on that. I don't need to work on that. That's your work, that man. I do my work, you know. And you want me to do your work too? That's too much work for me. And all of this is non-paying work. I'm willing to volunteer with myself and with the kids, them. And the indigent. Are you still making furniture? Of course. And now I have to make more furniture than my husband. No. <laughs> so I have to make back everything. <laughs> That still sounds funny when we say it, you know. It's so it you don't think a joke? It's not. <laughs> it's actually not. <laughs> oh my god, when we say it, it sounds funny, I swear. But yeah, may I make back everything, but no may have yo, may have a wicked L shape um so far. Where at the first I'm gonna make something like that. So I'm excited and I can't wait. I'm also nervous. Because it means eh. Number one, me can sew, but me not like so. I know me have to go sew. Because the way I want the cushion, me, me I make it myself. And number two, me not like feel. Me not handle failure well. So if me try to make it, if me try to make it and it don't work, Dump my spirit, so I forget it right the first time. So I'm kind of nervous, nervous. But I'm going to do it nevertheless. And, well, I shouldn't say burn down, Ling. It, well, there was a fire. The structure of the hose is concrete. The entire structure, so that stood up, but everything inside of it got, got destroyed. And, and, uh, but no, everybody's safe. Everybody is safe. We are fine. So, me not worry about it. Because in a real life, me I give thanks. Uh, it better me than enough other people. Because at least me can come back from it. Some other people could not. And me, me have appreciation for that. Um, life has been really good to me. It has. And some people... Not reached a point there yet. Some people still have got through for them rough times. So, me, me take it with grace because 
usually the universe it, it, usually every time something that seems bad happens to me some really really good things happen after so i look around for the really really good things instead of focusing on the thing that it's not so good um yeah listen man let me tell you life i know so much about the things that happen to you now i'm more about the way you respond to them so just focus on your response and you're good but right now it's it's after six i mean says somebody somewhere gotta have some eggs i'm a uh, yeah man the universe balance listen i just we one day i know that means say Prize up for Luton and City. Like, so here one now, Kama, Kamazuki. Me have one weird process. Like, you realize, say, me not focus on my fire. Me not focus on, you see, like, when something happen with them, say, negative. Me try for not focus on it, because if it negative, me not want it for stick around. Me not want it for amplify. Me prefer for focus on the good. And this is why, me not, you will not hear me talk about when negative things happen with artists when me love. Me not talk about it. Me not talk about it. Be, and, and I know because me not care. And because me not want to reinforce that. Because words take on flesh and, and create environment. And me not want that to be the environment. Me really don't want that. And in a sense, it kind of... It is kind of like something when I laugh about. So I want a little bit of a hypocrite because I usually talk about people who sweep things under the rug and think it disappear. And in a sense, it's kind of like what I do. Like if I not talk about it, it'd be less real. If I not think about it, then it kind of not did it. Which is really hypocritical because I not like when people sweep things under the carpet. But that's what I do. So... Hey, this morning me discover one of the double standard. But discovery is good. As it means if I something for fix me, can fix it, right? Or maybe me just need to apologize to the people and me the judge for sweeping things under the carpet. Me understand why you do it now. Yeah. But me prefer to think of fit. Stitchy on him foot. Up and about. Yeah, well then me definitely want to hear you. Send me one WhatsApp with you. Send me, send me a WhatsApp message. Can I have WhatsApp? Me, 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 me send him, when I come out of live, let me send him a WhatsApp if you don't have this number here. Um, not for the rest of this year, no, no UK could be it coming up. But, I prefer for, 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 Reinforce this anim foot stitching on my mind. Maybe I don't know if I've spoken to you since. But I think I spoke to you since I have this number. So, but but send me in a me in a me DM your your WhatsApp just to be sure. So when I come off, I can message you. And. Me, me prefer to end us all of the, the best parts of everybody. And even when it comes to government, you know, even that may, may, may I try hard to stop talking about the things that I don't like about government. And instead start highlight the things that I like or what I want. Because it goes against my, my core beliefs to say, um, to keep harping on the things that I don't like, knowing that I'm actually <coughs> amplifying those things <coughs> just by talking about them, by mentioning them. I'm actually amplifying them, which no make no sense when compared to what I believe in. But yeah, I prefer to talk about the good things about you. All I'm saying, I'm bad. Storyteller, that.
I am Matthew West. So, I didn't notice Kelly or Sharon them up on the live no more. They must drop asleep. I didn't have company. But it may mean that I go walk the streets by myself and look egg. But I want fried egg. I want fried egg. And fried jack. And they say Johnny Cake, yes, yeah, so. sir. Yeah, fried bake, fried jack, Johnny Cake, dumpling. All them are the same thing, but the, the fried jack, the fried bake, them there, I like them better than the Johnny Cake and the dumpling version. Good morning. Go and go find the egg before my baby mark. <laughs> you need to go in your bed. <laughs> I will enjoy my fry. Me need to start walk up on the road with one lick of one burner hot plate and some groceries. I me used to walk with me. Me, me always I walk with my crackers. With my water crackers and sardine and nothing. Me know say sardine. Um, where name eh? Not sardine. Sausage. Well, more work with sardine sometimes. I mean, it's a thin stuff not good for me, but it's so convenient when you work with you. Hey, me always ready for experience of food. Today, somebody asked me if I want to go try one Jamaican restaurant. I'm like, J what the fuck? Why would I want to? I just left Jamaica a while ago. I'm not even trying a Jamaican restaurant nowhere. I am Jamaican. I'm a liver Jamaica. So, I will try the local food. That is it. Baked beans. No, I work with baked beans. I work with sardine. I work with sausage. I work with water crackers. Finally, <laughs> well, usually in my morning, I eat boiled egg. But when I did I drink alcohol, fry egg at the thing. And, and yeah, in the fire, my egg cooker destroyed. So, I reach the stage now when I put egg for boil and forgot. And I come back and the pot burn up and the egg burn up and everything up, pop, 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 pop. So I get myself one little egg cooker. And you put it in and it tell you where to put the water to. And you cover it and you start it. And when it's done, it lock off. Hold on, hold on. Somebody just offered me breakfast in bed. Are you still matlock? I think that's not the different. No, matlock, I get used to it and to, to you now. And... Me get too used to you. A banter back and forth. No, the no the breakfast sun. In a sun as shiny. <laughs> the breakfast in bed sun scuffed. No, sir. Me know you be my personal chef. Me say Matthew, miracle Lily. Me did a bun up egg left, right, and center. Poached egg, mclat, roast egg. <laughs> So me get my little egg cooker and then the fire happen and then it burn up and gone. And then me go to China shop and me try to get it back. And me, for the life of me then just not have it. But guess what? I got my egg cooker in a <coughs> Walmart. Me get back one of Walmart right here. So no oof is that when got about me. Can cook. About eight egg one time. My nice. Talk to me good. I'm not going up nothing again. Mr. Lick, sing you better can cook. And you know what I mean? I'm not singing to you. could not sing it to me. I'm not singing to that girl there. You better can cook. I'm not going to cook. First of all, if everybody cook, who will go buy a restaurant? You're going to send me two food pick, make me take back my talk. I found me no name picture. You know which food look good and taste bad? You know which food smell good and taste bad? You can't check my food. Oh my god. Alright. You know, look, I'm going to make it to the egg because now I start feel tired. So, guys, I appreciate the company. Thanks for keeping my company while I came back from the club and needed to unwind. I really appreciate you. I'm loving this so much. Thanks for the foolishness. 
and big up everybody who don't drink but not feel a need for wave it like a friggin' flag. And big up everybody who work at a rum company and have respect for them customers and don't disrespect them and, and not look down upon them because they cost too bad. I'm vomiting on one corner. <laughs> Please don't put on any eggs. Don't put on any eggs. I'm not putting on egg. Yes, Ling, big up. So no. So no next time. Me soon start go back live with the story time. Me need to find back that little cardio I recline a chair from. Coats used to have it. Me need it back. Me want back the same. It's kind of like a grey. A grey cardio And it's very plush. And it's so comfy. What I recline a do. And me want it back. And the fire techie. Um. It all gonna feel weird to have story time without that chair there. Someone about the chair. So anyone who knows about that day, I'm gonna check quartz already, you know, and them never have it. Anyone who know, or buck up. A chair like that. Let me know. Alright, later. Thank you guys. I know why nobody had nothing for me. Um no my luck. I'm good. Oh, you can't help cooking. No, me, me actually can cook enough to save myself. Me can. But what I want now is ask pretty Dan Fiatcher. <laughs> you? You'll go and mix up. All right, later on. Don't be up in the cell. Have a great Sunday. <laughs> Bye.